faster. Wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. You's the one brought soured. Wa what are you doing here? What? The sun flying from the moon. We're making offerings to the All God. Clearly, you too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours and cursed the old village. So what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said, if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this all god of yours. Got a feeling ending. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Oh, all god, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty, please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought, driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Light. Top floor of the tower. Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? Oh please, I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. Alright, perhaps I wasn't completely honest, didn't quite toe the line, but I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. 
Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face, or I might think you don't like me anymore. Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me long. Going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. Kira, I can't... I won't let you do this. We can't allow this research to fall into the wrong hands, and Radovids are as wrong as they come. I'll not give you these notes. I'll not give you anything. Please, don't make me. Shut up and draw your sword. This way. Me saviour. Greetings to you. So, in for a sheer.
So long.
che è la terza è buon Luis. While searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to take taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Come on, Roach. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> 